Hello, uh, Jim Howard here. You may notice the video is a little bit different, and what's your what's your opinion? I'm waiting for a few seconds. I uh, just removed uh, this camera, the Razer which is a fantastic and I recommend it highly and the software and I installed again back I went back to a Avery Media 513 I think uh, camera and uh, the reason for it I think is I started using Dropbox for files in order to be moved, in order to move files around, that there's some things I'm wanting to do, move them around easily, and so I installed it, and I started having some problems, which I'm sure probably could have been, you know, fixed, but I messed around, and then I went and uninstalled the Razer, and installed the software again for, and I've used this before the Avery Media and I, I like it and uh, so I went and, and I reinstalled it um, Dropbox what, what is it it's something, I think it was something new that they added that I've never messed with before and automatically in fact yeah, I think it's a new thing where you could forget what they called it now I went and installed it. It may still be here, and I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> it's where I can uh, do a bunch of stuff on the screen and pull stuff in, do all that kind of stuff in it. Uh, sort of like a webcam program, sort of like a uh, screen catcher type thing or whatever. And I think that, I don't know, caused me some problems. So uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but everything is working okay now, I hope. <laughs> I, I see the microphone thing are working good with, you know, you got to Wave 3. Uh, the color and everything looks good. And there's a whole bunch of, um, oh, I see one thing here. I accidentally hit this. There we go. Okay. That was on the webcam, uh, on Manicam's adjustment that was made there. So, um, by the way, this poster right here, I just got it today on eBay. I used to work for, for a number of years, I worked for uh, the uh, Dart Truck Company. And I worked in the body shop and I built, you know, these back here, the part that hauled the Thing. Now, of course, we made some trucks that were, I mean, that, you know, massively bigger than this, and this is big. And what's interesting, when I ordered this from eBay, from a guy on eBay, he's really nice, and it's, it's a page out of uh, some type of a magazine. I could look on the other side and I would know. Uh, I'm guessing it was, you know, industrial or something, because they're advertising with this to... Uh, uh, since KDV Dark Truck placed its model 35 SL on the market two years ago, it has proved its excellent performance on jobs after a rugged job. It's uh, 24 cubic yard capacity. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, down, I didn't when I ordered this. I didn't know it, but actually down here is uh, in the corner. It's dated KW Dart Truck Company, and it gives the post office box, and it gives the address where I actually worked. So this actually, you know, uh, in Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri. So anyway, that came today. Uh, by the way, I've got this that I bought years ago. This is, you know, a model of the. Uh, dark truck and of course like I said I 
I worked in a body shop where we built this. And of course, you just can't imagine how big these are unless you've maybe worked someplace in mining, someplace in mines or things where. Uh... By the way, I've mentioned this before. My grandson, when he was living with me, uh, he said, Why do you have a toy truck? And I said, That's a model. I, I built these trucks. I worked in the body shop. No, you didn't. I said, Yes, yes, I did. I built this, is, you know, I built. And I worked in the body shop. I built those. Yeah. Worked for years. And he said, no, you didn't. And I think I, I, think I told him, you know, hey, okay. I built railroad trains, too. Um, I said, you know, I'm not saying I was an astronaut or, you know, something like that. I, you know. And he said, no, you didn't do it. I said, okay, never mind. I'm glad I found this. Uh, now they have models that you can buy of you know these dark truck, bigger you know, and deep more detailed and all that kind of stuff. I mean they don't, but some people, some of them are built. I can't afford them; they're <laughs> way too expensive, and I really don't have you know have the room for anything like that. Um, um, It finally shows that I have 2,000 YouTube videos online. And because uh, I mentioned, I made a video back, I don't know, a week or two weeks ago saying that I now had hit 2,000 videos that were online. Of course, I've gone and view it. Sometimes I delete a video. And I sort of hate to do it because it's like a time warp, a picture, you know, especially like the ones when I was in Miami. And at the beach, when I was at the nude beach, uh, Hollover nude beach or whatever, it's actually approved by the government, you know, the local, I'm guessing the city or the county. And uh, it was approved because, you know, a lot of people think, you know, that if, you, if you're somebody and you're looking for sex or whatever, the last place you want to go is to a nudist colony or a nude beach or something like that because they won't allow any of that. You know, they know they have to be on top of that and they won't... I mean, wait a minute, never mind. Take that in top of, you know, off. But, uh, so I just hate to uh, delete... I hate to delete it a lot, but I, there's a bunch of videos that, that I, if I knew, I don't want to go back and look at my own videos. When I make my videos, I don't even want to look at them, you know, and I do need to sometimes, because sometimes I get bit in the ass because I, maybe I go back and watch, you know, I upload a video and then I watch the first five minutes of it, which is more than I can stand of myself. And uh, then somebody will say, oh, the the video went to hell or audio broke or something like that so but I'm sure out of that 2,000 videos there are some really bad videos that I made and uh, if you happen to run across one of them let me know and I'll I'll have to go watch it because I can't trust I'm sorry you know I'm not offended I hope I'm not offended I'm not, I don't know you you know what I mean but because uh, there'd be some people that would uh, want me to de delete something that maybe they objected to politically or something and it's, you know, I give my opinions. It, and I'm not asking for political donations. I'm not asking you to go out and vote for the people that I tell you to vote for because I don't think I ever told anybody here to vote. But of course, if you watch my videos, you know, I'm a liberal Democrat. Um, I'm going to, I think I'll do that now. I, my, I moved my umbrella anten or antenna, my um, umbrella light. It was over here next to the refrigerator in the safe. I, every time I say this, I, I have a safe. There is no gun in the safe. There's no, mo there's no money in the safe. There's no gold in the safe. There's no jewelry. There, it's a safe that I put papers in. My uh, people's death certificates, marriage certificates, and... Stuff like you know, that's all that's in there. Okay, so I've said that now. Anyway, I moved the 
uh, umbrella lamp up there, light up there. Uh, but I, I did change it. I put, uh, see, I think I put the other one away already. The other one was a in that fluorescent stage, you know, when a lot of people are moving to fluorescent lights. This is an LED light, and it's much brighter. And I, I moved it up higher, and I moved it here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... I won't bother to pause this, but I'm going to walk over there and I'm going to turn that light out and then come back and we'll see how that, you know, how that looks. I hope you can still hear me, but it doesn't really matter because I don't intend to be walking around this room, I don't think. Okay, I killed the light. Whoops, it's really dark in here. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I see it's too dark already. Um, sort of romantic, hey. But yeah, I need to turn that light back on. Um, yeah, I'll do that now. Don't touch the mouse. switch for that thing is way <laughs> hurts my heart right is to reach up there and turn it on uh, you know what I could do but I'm not gonna do it now I could move this light that is here over here someplace and then maybe I could kill that light you know depending on it but right now I think that I think everything's fine um, so let's go back here for a second. Okay, we're over here now. Um, let's go here. Let's go to CNN and see what's going on in the world. New details about, emerge about the Philadelphia shooting suspect. The man accused of carrying out the mass shooting said he did it to clean up the neighborhood, sources say. Uh, a father preparing to walk his daughter down the aisle and a young man who ran out of ran out for snacks were among those killed in the Philadelphia mass shooting. Uh, let's see, Supreme Court to decide if domestic abusers can own guns. Uh, you know, I would say no. I mean, it would seem to me common sense, no. But uh, I mean, it, it should be, I guess it is the question, you know, across the board. Um, I mean, it should be that you would go, that, well, it should be, let's say, that the law would say domestic abusers, you know, who have been, you know, arrested and found guilty of that. Uh, no, you cannot own uh, own guns. But if the person then wants that person who, you know, wants to own a gun, if they they should be able to go before a local, you know, judge and bring up, you know, any circumstances, and and uh, the the other people should be able to, you know, present information. So that you know, that's what I would think would be. They, because of the situation, you know, with own guns, you know, assault rifles. 
Uh, what we know about mass shootings on July 4th and 5th. Four, fourth victim found dead after a mass shooting at a 4th of July block party in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, now, they don't, I don't, right, right now I don't see, they don't have the one that just happened about four miles from here in West Fort Worth. I think 11 people were shot and uh, three died. Um, and now I'm not sure if that's the video that, that I saw on the local news or if it was something, because I really wasn't paying attention. But there was a mass of people. I mean, a, you know, a large, large mass of people. And there wasn't any audio. But anyway, the camera, you could see the entire, you could see a big area. And all of a sudden, you see all these people. And they start running in different directions, you know. And uh, then they stop and they come back. And more people are coming, you know, coming into the thing. And I'm, I'm like, no, leave, go. If you, start, you started running, keep running. Go north, south, east, west, whatever. Go, run, you know, go, out, get out of there. And, but then the, the crowd comes back, you know, comes back in. Why are they coming back in? To see if they can see somebody that's been shot? Are they, are they thinking maybe that a store owner run at, ran out of his store and he's going to leave, uh, you know, uh, diamond watches in, on his counter? I mean, you know, are they coming back to say, well, so can I steal some? You know, I, I don't know, you know. If, and, but that happened at least four or five times. I think I might have stopped watching it after a bit, but, you know, was, the crowd moves away. And then, you know, then the crowd, all these people coming back, maybe new ones are coming in. Maybe the old ones, I don't think so, but, you know. Then people, then, you know, you can tell the shots are going off because you see people dropping down beside their cars, doing all kinds of, you know, crap. And then the crowd just keeps coming in. I think that is the, the one here, the shooting in like four miles from here because on the local news I know they said that uh, you know when the police arrived and everything that they were unable to get the injured ones people who had been shot they were unable to get the ambulances in there and that the police officers had to go in and uh, you know uh, carry them out to the ambulance instead of the paramedic, maybe the paramedics, some of them ran in or something, I don't know, I'm sure they would have, but, you know, probably if there were people laying on the ground shot or whatever, probably some of those people that ran in, they probably were standing over, you know, and the police and paramedics were probably saying, please, you know, they're taking a video of them. My God. Um... Let's see, let's go back over here and see what else I can come up with. Um, uh, let's see. Video shows Russian jets interacting with U.S. drones in Syria. Let's see, pro-Trump lawyer Lynn Wood gave up law to license amid the 2020 related disciplinary case against Lynn Wood. I'm guessing, gave up the license, I'm guessing, you know, that they were getting ready to, you know, do away with the license for that person, but probably by, I'm guessing, by agreeing to give it up, then they could come back probably at a later time and then maybe, you know, have it reinstated where if they, you know, chopped it off or whatever. Uh, 
prosecutors say man went to Obama, D.C., uh, Obama's uh, home in uh, Washington, D.C. area. He went with a, a, I think it was a van or a truck loaded with ammunition and guns and all, all, you know, all kinds of stuff. And uh, former President Trump had just posted, you know, Obama's address in the Washington, D.C. area. And uh, here's a former Trump, Trump supporter who says that she was brainwashed. You know, a whole bunch of them. It, it's like a cult. You know, there's a whole bunch of them that, you know, they're, they don't make much sense because they don't listen to and they don't answer questions. You know, it's a man accused of raping and impregnating a child in Ohio is sentenced to life in prison after a guilty plea. Authorities ramp up shark patrols along New York's Long Island after five people were bitten in two days. I was working, uh, whenever Jaws came out, I was working full-time hospital security, but I also worked a part-time contract guard job, and I was working that summer at uh, Oak Park Mall Shopping Center, which is, was, is, I guess it's still there, in a very fancy neighborhood where people who had money lived or whatever. And, uh, but anyway, they had a movie theater there, and I just happened to be working, well, I worked, you know, there for the summer, I think it was, and, and I think I went and spent a summer working at, uh, well, I worked during the winter too someplace, but then I spent a summer working at a uh, rock quarry for the entire summer. It was hot. But anyway, back to the uh, mall. I just happened to be down when the movie theater was, you know, letting Jaws was running, and it, it was, and I just happened to be in that area. I didn't go, you know, intending to, uh, you know, look at people or something. But they came out of there, and they looked like, oh my God, <laughs> they were traumatized. The people watching the movie, and of course later on I saw it, uh, you know, like on television or something. Uh, both, I'm, I'm not sure if it was more than, I know there was a one and two, and both of those movies I thought were good. Not exactly my kind of movie, but I did watch them. Uh, what else? Like, I guess, let's go back here. Uh, let's go up here a little bit. Oh, help. Russian, captured Russian soldiers tell of low morale, disarray, and horror of trench warfare. I think I'm, I'm glad, I wasn't at the time. I went to a military high school. Uh, full-time military. Uh, and as soon as I graduated, I went down to enlist in the military and they wouldn't take me because I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. But you know what I totally forgot about, I mentioned this, is in the first grade, I had an ear infection or something or other and my, my hearing was, that was it. And my parents never took me, but I can't blame my parents. My parents never, you know, uh, they got this, even at a, you know, kindergarten, I'm, I'm taking this home. I said, God damn. Well, I guess I probably didn't say God damn, you know. I went to a Catholic school all my life. I probably said, golly, that looks really bad. But my parents never said, but I can't blame my parents because uh, when I got, when the military wouldn't take me, I ended up, you know, going to welding school and spent years working as a welder and places that I shouldn't have been working because of the noise and stuff, and additional damage to my uh, hearing and everything. But 
you know, with uh, I would have I was uh, the Vietnam you know Vietnam age. No, it would have been Korea. See, I got out of high school in 1959, so I think I would have you know. Um, I mentioned this before, I'm pretty dumb. I didn't know that the recruiter actually that they made a contract, basically a contract, except they uh, they could get out of the contract. You know, they're making a contract. Okay, well, you're going to be a, um, a intelligence agent or you're going to be a radar or you're going to be... <laughs> but if you don't, if you don't have the mathematical skills, if you don't have, you know, whatever, you know, then they could put you someplace else. But coming out of, uh, you know, if I'd have gone right in, I'd have gone, I'm sure, if I think it was a Vietnam thing, I'd have gone right to Vietnam. And uh, not a good place to be. Uh, now, if if I had gone to, but of course I, you know, my weight was too low, and my hearing was that was a that was that would have been a permanent you know no way they would have taken me. Uh, my father had uh, six brothers, and all of those six brothers were in the military. My dad was not. My dad and my mother and me as a little baby, we went to California. My mom and dad uh, were boilermakers and welders, and they built Liberty ships. I just pottied in my pants. Um, I guess in my diaper. Um, but, and I, just, I didn't know about like a contract thing or whatever. If if I had got out of high school and if my hearing was okay, well, if my weight was okay, to if, if I had gone to welding school, uh, I could have gone in the military, I could have gone into probably any branch of you know, the military, I guess. Maybe not the Marine Corps. But, you know, with the welding, I could have gone, I would have been able to go in and be a welder in the military, still in the military, you know. Of course, I'm not saying that they wouldn't send me, you know, to repair tanks or something, you know, in Vietnam or wherever that was, but that would have been, but I didn't know that they made a contract. Now, I did know that back then, you know, if you and some of your buddies you know, you get out of high school or whatever. If you go and enlist, you could do, they were doing like the buddy thing. Oh, okay, you guys can stay together. You know, unless, you know, unless one of them gets kicked out or unless one has maybe has some aptitude and go on to some, you know, unless you want to. But then let's see, it was that. Oh, you could pick your, uh, you know, where you want to go, you know. Uh, so, I mean, you could put in, maybe especially if you were in the Navy, you could put in for, well, I'd like to be in Hawaii. Yeah. But there again, it's going to depend on, you know, they don't, but I didn't know it worked that way. But it didn't matter for me anyway. So, uh, let's see, this has been about a 30-minute video. I really wanted to, um, you know, test this camera. I do like the camera. Um, and all of you, well not all, everybody who's mentioned, you, you really like this camera. Um, but I like this, this one also. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with, with this one. But this, uh, what is it, K, K, I guess that's an I, K, Y, K, Y, K, I, Y, O, Pro. Uh, it's a nice, nice, you know. Maybe someday I'll hook them both. I've done that, uh, but it, it 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 throws into you know other problems, you know, and stuff. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Give thumbs up. Uh, I don't know. Click on a link below. Uh, you know, do whatever you can to help out. Uh, thank you very much for watching.